Hi everyone, this is Gina with Scuba Reviews. Today I'm going to show you how to string your bow. Today I'm using a PSE Razorback Takedown Recurve Bow, but for any recurve bow this is generally the idea of using a stringing tool um, to string it up. Uh, you don't really want to use it by hand. You can, but I don't recommend it. You can twist your limbs and also hurt yourself. Um, I have two different stringers here. One is just a universal stringer. I don't remember what brand it is, um, but all stringing tools have relatively the same anatomy, per se. Um, you have a cupped end, which will go over my lower limb, and then the looped end with the flat part will sit here on loop under and on top of my limb. You put your pressure on with your feet and pull up on your bow, and these pull down on the bow so you can easily slip your string right on. Um, this stringing tool is the Martin Archery um, Genuine Leather Stringing Tool. It again has a flat part and a cup part, and that does the same thing. You will note on both of my strings, I have them tied in a knot on a little, in the middle, sorry, not on a little. I'm short, I'm only five foot three, and if I don't do this, I can't reach the end of my bow to place the string on. So if you're having a little trouble and it feels like it's out of your reach, just tie a little knot, play with the distance, but tie a little knot in the middle of your string, and that should help you. I like this one a little better, so I'm gonna show you how to use this one. First thing to note about your string, when you look at it, you have two loops. One loop is, is bigger than the other loop. The bigger loop goes on the top of your bow, the top limb, upper limb. The little loop goes on the lower limb. So what I'm gonna do is take that top loop. I'm right-handed, so I always keep my upper limb to my right. I'm gonna slip it on just over the limb. I'm gonna bring the lower limb up, bring the string on loop it into the grooves, and I also make sure that it goes right into that groove. Then I take my stringing tool, I take the cupped end, put it on the lower limb, actually first, since I have that knot in there, to make it shorter, I take my top line, or top part, put it just below where the string is, then take the cup part and put it on the lower limb, so it's all the way on there. Line that up, and you stand up, put your feet wide. Hopefully you can see this. Make sure that's as far forward as you need it. Don't look at this, otherwise you could get snapped in the face um, very easily. So slide that down with a lot of pressure. Pull up on your bow while sliding out this. I just looked like I shouldn't do. Slide it down, slide it on, and then you can take this off. And there you go. That, that is how you string your bow. To unstring it, you do the same thing, but in reverse. I take my flat part, put it, loop it over. I take my cup part, cup it onto the bottom limb. Again, stand wide, pull up without looking at it, and just reach down and slip it off. Remove your stringer. Maybe. And that's how you do it. That's how you string your bow. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. Um, please like my video. Uh, I appreciate it. And look forward to more video and reviews of archery stuff, outdoor sports, camping gear, all kinds of stuff on my channel. Have a good day.